Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and in the previous episode we were quickly heading to reaching 2000 days. We didn't make it however, we are still on day 1996 which means in this episode we are sure to reach that fantastic milestone. But let's get into the action and let's start building. So last time out we built this amazing pond over here and it is looking absolutely fantastic. However, the same can't really be said for this area down here. It is still looking a bit wild, it is still a bit of a mess, so we're going to be focusing on sorting all of this out today. And the first thing we need to do is level the ground here, get rid of all of these trees that are in the way, and then we can start building something amazing, something to complement both the mushroom and the bamboo farm. But first, let's sleep. And, oh goodness, where did you come from? No, 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 get away. Ah, goodness, I am absolutely making a hash out of that. Anyway, no harm really done. Let's get rid of these trees and then we can start working on the area around it. Now I've got a few awesome ideas for this. I want to make a little waterfall, perhaps a water stream crossing the path where I can make a little bridge for it. But first we need to do the grind and that is of course chopping some wood, digging out some dirt and getting everything in order for when we actually want to start building. Now fortunately I've taken care of most of the trees around you already. There's just one or two left but don't worry. I'm not going to deforest this entire area and not bring them back. I plan on doing some custom trees and I think once this is done this will look amazing. So let's get this last little stump over here and then we can start working on this hillside. I want to make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more streamlined and that means I'm going to have to do quite a bit of terraforming to get the shape of this hill just right. So what I have in mind is to have the start of the waterfall up top here by the mushroom and then the water would cascade all the way down the hill rolling and rolling as it goes until it reaches the pond here at the bottom by the bamboo farm. And perhaps we could take this area over here, create a bit of a cliff and then have another little waterfall come down here. But there's a lot of work to do so let's get to it. And we interrupt our regular scheduled terraforming for some breaking news. It is day 1999 and the sun is going down. Which means ladies and gentlemen if we put down this bed and go to sleep we will wake up and it will be day 2000. And I never thought I would see this but here we go. And there we have it, it is finally day 2000 and I cannot believe what we have managed to create in that time. From the castle on top of the mountain to Dolly the sheep in the harbour and everything in between, I am extremely proud of what this world has become. I think it is looking absolutely phenomenal, however we are not quite done just yet. There's still more work to be done, so let's get back to it. And the next thing I need to do is of course work on the path that leads down to the bamboo farm. And my idea is quite simply to grab my shovel, make some path blocks and see where that takes me. Later on I will grab some slabs and use them to make the path going down nice and smooth. However for now I'll just continue, Ooh, I did not double dirt that, I think I need to take care of that. As you can see I've made a bit of an entrance to the cave down here which allows us to come in and do some work around here as well and I'm out of dirt. Just hang on one moment. We are back and we have more dirt and as soon as I covered that up it became really dark in here. 
So in addition to the dirt, I also need to place down some torches to keep the monsters from spawning. And that should do it. And now that we have an entrance into the cave, we can also go and decorate the interior of it. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, I have to lay down some awesome paths and I think we'll do that with a time lapse. And shaping these paths just right is a bit of a hassle, but we got there eventually. Now I want to create another little path right over here leading to the other side of the bamboo farm. So we've got two ways of approaching it, but that's not the only reason I want to make this path. This area is a little bit empty and this path really is here to help fill it out a bit. And there we go, that took a lot longer than I anticipated because I had to make the staircase going down to the bamboo farm as well and that turned out to be a little bit more tricky than I thought it would be. But it turned out pretty well. Next thing I want to take care of is this area over here next to the monolith. Now this is of course the pipe coming up from our skeleton farm and it is looking a little bit out of place which means I need to decorate it and try and get it to blend in with the rest of the scenery. And I think the way I'm going to do that is by making a little pond around it. So we'll have the monolith in the center, perhaps turn it into a fountain of sorts, I'm not entirely sure just yet. But we've got the basic shape of the pond laid out, perhaps just shave off one or two more blocks over here. And then we are ready to add some water. And there we go, we have a pond and I've added a bucket of water to the top of the monolith as well and um, that did not go quite as I had planned, but we'll fix that later. But we've also done some work on the path itself and as you can see, we've added some stones, we've added some bushes and we've added some bamboo fencing all around. And then we've also sprinkled in a little bit of coarse dirt. And that means we are ready to move on to our next project, which is the waterfall. So the first thing I need to do is dig out a basic shape for the water to follow. And once that is done, we'll add the water and we will of course give it a little bit of decoration as well. And once again, we're going to be using some stones, some mossy stones, and then we're going to take it across the road. There'll be a lovely little bridge and finally it'll cascade down at the bottom into the pond by the bamboo farm. And once this waterfall is done, I have no doubt it's going to look spectacular. And the waterfalls are done and they are looking absolutely fantastic. As you can see, we've split them into two down here, but there's still something missing from this picture and I think I know exactly what that is. I am of course talking about some trees, some custom trees, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some fences, I'm going to build the bare bones of the tree and then just add some leaves on top of that. I'm not going to build them too big or too fancy, I'm just going to do something basic, something natural, and we'll see how exactly that goes. So first things first, let's lay out the branches with some fences. And to be honest, I'm not working with any kind of a plan, but we've got the branches in place and now it's time to add the leaves. And I'm just going to sprinkle them onto the tips here and cover most of the branches that I can see with some leaves. So let's get a few more up top here, one over there, one over there, and then a few more on this side, just cover up all of these branches, get it looking nice and lush. 
And we're on to the next tree, and this is going to be an oak tree. I know these fences don't really resemble what the bark of these trees really look like, but I'm not going to be worried about getting it looking 100% realistic. Once again, I don't really have a plan. I'm just laying out some branches, trying to create what my brain is telling me an oak tree would look like. And the branches are done, which means it is time for some more leaves. We're going to do the same as we did on the birch tree and just spam some leaves onto these branches and hope that it turns out well. And in my humble opinion, it turned out very well. Just look at these two. They look absolutely brilliant. However, I think there needs to be more. A lot more. And the trees are looking absolutely phenomenal. This entire area is turning out to look brilliant. As you can see, we've got some mist coming from the waterfall there where it crashes to the ground. And my favorite part of this entire build is the big dark oak tree with its different colored leaves and an old trunk. Just look at it. But it's getting dark and that means we need to install some lighting. Now I've already added some jack-o'-lanterns under some mossy carpet all over the place. But I want to add a little bit of light to the path as well. And I'm going to be using some dark oak fences just to create a little bit of contrast with the diorite walls and the bamboo fencing. So let's install another one over here. One more on top of that. And then we add the lantern. And let's take a look at what we've created. It looks pretty awesome. However, it needs a little bit of light over here. I think I'm just going to add the lantern there just for something a little bit different. And I really don't like that. So let's take down the lantern and let's give it a proper lamp. There we go. And the path is looking phenomenal, but there's one last thing that we need to do. And that is add just a little bit of bamboo in all of the empty spaces just to fill it out and make it look a little bit fuller. So let's just bone meal these, get them growing. Eventually I'll grab some string and tie them down, but for now they have to grow wild. And there's one more over here. And I think that just about does it for this area. And that brings us to our next project. And that's gonna be happening right here at the old bamboo farm. Now all of this bamboo has been scheduled for demolition because this area has been designated for something else. So first things first, let's chop down all of the bamboo and there is an absolute ton of it still growing here. And with the bamboo cleared out, we can get to work. Because what I want to build here is a stable for chicken horse. We've been neglecting the poor animal far too long. And I want to build it in the same style as my original starter house, which means I need to collect the most annoying wood in Minecraft. Yes, ladies and gents, I have to collect a bunch of mangrove. And with our mangrove collected, we can start working. We've got all the materials we need. And the first thing we need to do is take down the existing fence. Once that is done, we can frame it out with some oak wood. And then from there, we will fill in the details and make it look absolutely awesome. So let's take down the fence. And then let's put up the frame. I'm going to start right over here. I'm going to take it up about four or five blocks. Let's move to the other side. We will do the same and then we'll continue and build the entire frame. And the frame is pretty much built and this is looking like a good sized stable. I think Chicken Horse will have plenty of space. And now that we have the basic design for the stables laid out, let's start filling in the details. And 
and I have made a colossal blunder. Instead of building this entire stable an uneven amount of blocks, I have built it an even amount. Now initially it didn't bother me too much, but once I got the roof in and everything set up, it was looking terrible. And that meant I had to tear down half of the stable and I am in the process of rebuilding it. But it's a small price to pay to have something that I'm actually happy with, instead of something that I will be forever regretting. So let's carry on. And we are almost done. The only thing left to do is install the roof and then we can move Chicken Horse into his new home. And I think this is turning out to look pretty awesome indeed. I'm very happy that I did tear it down and rebuild it because it didn't take me all that long and I never would have been happy with the original results. So let's finish installing this roof and once that is done, I think all that's left to do is a few decorations, maybe a little wall around the outside, a nice entrance, and then I just want to add a few touches like a water trough and a workstation for the farrier. So let's use some editing magic. And the stables are complete and they are looking fantastic. And with that done, I think it is time to move Chicken Horse into his brand new home. I think I've got a little bit too much grass over there, so let's just take care of that. And maybe one or two less over there. And overall, I am extremely happy with the way that this stable has turned out. And I do think I have achieved my goal of making it match my original starter house. I mean, look at that and look at that. They definitely look like they were built by the same builder. So let's move the horse. And Chicken Horse is indeed very, very happy in his new stable. However, he has informed me that he is feeling just a little bit lonely. So I have promised him that I will go out and I will find him a friend. And I have scoured the plains looking for the perfect friend for Chicken Horse. And it really should not have been this hard. He's not really picky at all. I mean, geez, the guy made friends with chickens. But I think I have finally found his perfect friend and look at this magnificent beast and oh he's a wild one all right let's try that again and nope and i've given up on that one however i have found an exact duplicate of him only better and i have already tamed him i mean look at the heart on this beast what a magnificent animal he is an absolute tank and I think that will be his name as well. I am going to call him Tank. And we are going to ride Tank home right now. And here we go, Tank. Your new home awaits. Let's get you into your stable. And then let's just close up here so you can't run away. But I think you'll be very happy here next to Chicken Horse. And just look at the two of them being all shy. But I'm sure they'll be great friends in no time. And of course, Tank is going to need a name tag. So... Let's make our way over to our name tag suppliers. And we are back and we have a name tag. Here we go. Everybody say hello to Tank. We've also named Chicken Horse, but we shortened his name to Chores. It was my wife's idea, so nobody's allowed to say anything about it. Anyway, we have got a ton of work done today. The area down by the bamboo farm is looking magnificent and the horses have a stable. All in all, a great day's work. The stables are looking magnificent and against the backdrop of the mushroom, it is quite a picturesque sight. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying until next time beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye bye.